Here's my, my iPad. Believe it or not, this woman's never seen an iPad before, even though she toils more than 60 hours a week making them. Oh, look at You like it? Yeah. She's like many migrant workers from rural China, spending endless hours putting on screens, but never glimpsing the finished product. Half spicy, half hot. Here's another first. This is her only meal at a restaurant since she started at Foxconn, a company that produces electronics for the world's leading brands. <laughs> it's very interesting. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. This sure is a change from the factory where she works, sleeps and eats. She doesn't want to be identified. We'll call her Miss Chen. If she's caught speaking to us, she says she will lose her job. When we were being trained for work, they told us that if we accept interviews, we will be investigated for criminal responsibility according to law. It's really a big deal. Miss Chen is one of more than a million workers at Foxconn in China. She works at this factory in the city of Chengdu, installing iPad screens. The company makes the iPads, iPods and iPhones that has made Apple a commercial and cultural icon. But there are no I workers here, only we workers. And Miss Chen says we work whenever Foxconn says so. They use women as men and they use men as machines. There's another way of saying it. They use women as men and they use men as animals. Well, this is the front gate of the Foxconn factory. It's as far as we're going to be able to go. But every day, literally tens of thousands of workers go through these gates. According to the worker that we spoke to, people don't tend to stay very long here. If they have any complaints, well, the attitude of management is, if you don't like it, you can leave. Only weeks ago, workers threatened mass suicide at a Foxconn factory in Wuhan, manufacturing Microsoft products. Microsoft said in a statement it investigated and found the matter related to staffing assignments and transfer policies, not working conditions. The company noted that it works to ensure employees are treated fairly. Foxconn says it resolved the dispute. But in 2010, the company made unwanted headlines when more than a dozen workers killed themselves, forcing Foxconn to improve its factories. The company tells CNN it boosted pay and provided counselling. Foxconn now boasts of its on-site health care and worker living conditions, which it claims are among the best in China. Apple's been criticised for its links to overseas factories. It maintains it would not work with companies that do not respect their employees. In a recent email to staff, Apple addressed critics. It says, quote, we care about every worker in our worldwide chain. Miss Chen, though, sees it very differently. Do they care about us? I don't know. At least I'm not getting any of that care. Though Foxconn insists its workers are treated fairly and their rights fully protected, workers' rights groups say the company favours only a privileged few, executives, managers. For the many thousands of others, it is run with a military culture. They point to unpredictable hours at the whim of management, complaints of inadequate breaks, and workers not even allowed to speak on the factory floor. As we found, they're not too keen to speak outside either. We had to meet Miss Chen at this restaurant. It's a rare outing for her. Foxconn takes up every waking moment. It's so boring. I can't bear it anymore. Every day was like, I get up from work and I go to bed. I get up in the morning and I go to work. It became my daily routine and I almost felt like I was some kind of animal. Hers is just one tale, but it's an experience repeated elsewhere by other disgruntled Foxconn employees. She says she will leave soon to go back to college. She has no desire to return here. When I graduate, oh, I don't want to work in Foxconn. You don't? No. Oh, don't. But there is always the lure of that iPad. You like it? Oh, I like it. <laughs> I want to have one. You want to have one? <laughs> Maybe one day I have enough money. Enough money? Right now, Miss Chen says she earns less than a dollar an hour.